Now, as many of you already know that the Onvo sub brand, it is a brand that Nia will be doing a second official unveiling on very soon. Today, we just finally got to see the first uh, vehicle of Onvo rolling off the production line. This is the final car that will be sold to the Onvo users. This is a huge milestone for Neo because apparently Neo confirmed that they have conducted over 5,000 tests onto this model, meaning that those models that we've been seeing of the Onvo car, they were exhibition cars, test cars, which Onvo and Neo were making sure that they get the accurate and correct quality that they'll be able to sell to their Onvo users. So to get to see it rolling off the production line as perfect as it is, it is something that is pretty amazing. But this is something that is pretty exciting because it is a month before Neo does their second official unveiling launch, which is absolutely great. Now you will know that Onvo or these Onvos that you see, including those exhibition cars, they are being produced at Neo Park, which is factory number two where Neo produce their own cars. So I'm happy, I'm excited. Now, more good news that came out from this vehicle is that we just saw the interior of how this new Onvo models looks like i mean wow i must say it is pretty amazing because we've got the horizontal screen we've got the steering wheel with something that looks like a thin uh, screen just in front of the steering wheel which is something that is absolutely great the third screen is just behind the armrest which is incredible because those at the back they can watch whatever they want on that screen just behind the armrest the seats the seats i must say the seats I mean, these are the seats that are on this car are similar to the kind of seats that you see on the ET7. I mean, they can like rotate up to 180 degrees, acting like a bed, which is the very same thing that we see from the uh, latest Neo ET7. This is something that is just incredible. I mean, they, they can be easily adjustable by the electric buttons that are on the sides of the seat. This, once again, shows us the kind of a beauty, the kind of a quality that this Onvo car is. I mean, there was a video as seen on the screen which showed us how the quality, someone was just testing the quality of this car, touching it and showing us the quality that Neo uh, and Onvo came up with when they were making this car. This is so amazing. This gives me great joy and I have no doubt that this car will do absolutely well when it comes to sales. So I'm happy, I'm excited and I just thought I'd just give you this quick update. Tell me what you think. I think uh, this car coming out or rolling off the production line, we just now await Onvo to tell us when is the official unveiling date because I understand rumors are saying the 25th of September, but I guess we'll have to wait for the official communication by either Neo or Onvo as to when do they plan to do the second launch. But I think we should brace ourselves because as it stands, this car is ticking all the boxes looks it is it has got the looks um, technology it has got the technology in fact is when it comes to uh, some of the technology they are ahead on to neo because onvo l60 you know that it's using neo's latest technology of nt 3.0 which no neo model car has that uh, 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 technology yet neo models are still to be introduced to the nt 3.0 which is something that is incredible seeing onvo having this kind of latest technology which even the newer models still don't have this technology. So, I mean this car it's quite spacious it's a family car uh, we've seen a couple of sneak peeks of people going to sit at the back seats still with of course enough space just from their knees to the uh, front seat which is something that shows you of how spacious this car is. This is a very good catalyst for Neo. I believe we're going to get more sales from this. I believe that those that are persevering throughout the short-term headwinds of the share price will definitely be rewarded once Neo starts selling this, of course, model which is expected to come end of September. But again, those are still rumors, but we wait for Neo to or Onvo to fully announce the second launch or the date of the second launch where we're going to see how much the car is with bus, without bus, how much is the car with with single motor or dual motor how much is the car with of course the 20 or 19 inch tires we are still going to get those price breakdowns but i must tell you that you must brace yourself especially with the price with bars 
I think that one is going to blow our minds because if this car is around 219,000 RMB or $30,000 with a battery, without a battery, I mean, you know that from the new brand, once you buy a new brand without a battery, it cuts like almost $10,000 off the car. Now, to get to see uh, on what's starting at 219 and you subtract that $10,000 uh, from the car, then I think you and me can agree that we might see this car starting around $20,000 or just over $20,000, which is something that we look forward to. And something to note when it comes to batteries is that the difference is that NEO's standard battery packs starts from 70 to 75 kilowatts, whereas the standard battery packs for Onvo starts around 60 kilowatts, which we saw yesterday NEO already starting to put in this battery onto into their battery shopping station, which is something that is pretty pretty amazing otherwise with all that i just thought to just give you this quick update like i said tell me what you think i think this are good news positive news and it shows to us that blue sky is coming neo has officially got two brands which they are now going to be selling which gives me great joy as the new investor because neo not only will they now be catering a uh, uh, middle to upper class when it comes to their cars but they will, are now going to also cater for the mess market with this Onvo L60 which is absolutely great so I look forward I think Neo will do uh, very well uh, in terms of sales also from this Onvo L60 car so do your own DD so that at least you are comfortable as you are investing onto this stock otherwise that's all from me I wish you nothing but the best in your stock market investing journey and God bless you all